Hello everyone, Shazam here again with a new video. Today I'm gonna be talking about Kabuto's Sage Mode. How he got it, how he could maintain it without running out of natural energy during his battle against the Uchiha brothers. I'll also briefly explain his abilities even though I explained them in my Sage Mode explanation video. I just said explain a lot, but whatever. Just a quick disclaimer, this is all headcanon and only what I could come up with through information I gathered on the subject. So yeah, nothing is 100% true in what I'm about to discuss. Let's first get into the modifications he made to his body. He primarily did transfusion using Orochimaru's blood, turning his skin pale and snake-like as well. He mentioned to Sasuke that he used Hozoki's secret ability from Suigetsu's DNA to transform his flesh into liquid. He also mentioned taking Karin's DNA to boost his healing ability and increase his life force or chakra, which allows him to enter Sage Mode. That detail I'm not very certain of. But the most important DNA he took was Jugo's. Jugo's clan has the ability to absorb natural energy randomly, making them go berserk due to the lack of control over it. Why is Jugo's DNA important if he can enter Sage Mode without going berserk? Let's look into Jugo's ability first. Orochimaru used Jugo's ability to create the curse marks. Kabuto mentions that Orochimaru then tracked the source of the natural energy they get and he ended up finding their Yuchi cave. Meaning Jugo clan's ability is associated with the snake sage mode and originated from there. Orochimaru can't enter sage mode due to his host being weak but that's not the point. Kabuto used a combination to boost his chakra and feel natural energy, Karin's and Jugo's DNA. But why was Jugo's DNA necessary? Let's look back at Naruto's training for Sage Mode. Fukasaku mentions that Naruto first needs to feel natural energy in order to gather it. Fukasaku used special toad oil that attracts natural energy on Naruto's skin and then he felt the natural energy. What if Jugo's DNA is what attracts natural energy, making it the snake equivalent of the toad oil in order for Kabuto to feel natural energy? It's not stated anywhere because Kabuto said it was a temporary boost but I'm sure that's how he started his Sage Mode training. Next up is how he could maintain it during battle. The answer is pretty simple actually, the same way Jiraiya does, fusion. But what does Kabuto fuse with? Jugo basically, using his DNA, the Jugo part within him is what attracts natural energy as he fights and maintains his sage mode, so basically Jugo's DNA is like the Fukasako and Shima for Kabuto. Also I'd like to note that Kabuto mentioning him being a perfect sage is almost as stupid as him claiming he's the closest being to the Sage of Six Paths considering all the horns and snake features on his body. Now for his abilities, Kabuto has shown quite a few abilities, most of them being of the Sound Force, Kimimaru's and Orochimaru's, but I'm gonna talk about his Sage Mode exclusive abilities. The first one being Sage Art White Extreme Attack. Using this ability, Kabuto fires a dragon from his mouth wielding a pearl of some sort that explodes and releases blinding light and crippling sound waves that basically stun the enemy's hearing and vision. Along with damage to the bones paralyzing their movements, Kabuto is immune to it due to Suigetsu's ability which allows him to absorb the damage and he also has the snake cornea that blocks the light. His second ability being Sage Art Inorganic Reincarnation. It is described as a sage technique that brings the lifeless to life, allowing Kabuto to control them. From what we have seen, he can manipulate his surroundings and use them as weapons like he did with the cave they were in. I'm gonna quote Kabuto now. In the shinobi world, those without talent are nothing, but those who lack talent can just steal it from those who do. This line is what made Kabuto possibly the only person in the whole series to be susceptible to Izanami. It was Asphalt by the way. That's about it for Kabuto's Sage Mode, I hope you guys found that useful and I hope I didn't miss anything, if I did let me know. Thanks for sticking till the end, I'll see you in the next one, take care.